Instead of cute pets, this guy has befriended two giant bears, but it's not as cool as it sounds. The bears always bring problems and mishaps. It gets worse when they decide to participate in a competition with not animals, but deadly human hybrids. Vic is a poor guy who is always looking for a way to earn lots of money, but his luck doesn't cooperate. His best friends aren't humans, but two giant bear siblings named Briar and Bramble. Briar is strong and mature while Bramble is naive and clumsy. Regardless of their different nature, they give their best while working in a team. Vic has to take care of the expenses, so he has started driving a tourist bus. One day, he gets a call from his old friend named Raymond. He heard that Vic is visiting his town, so he wanted to have a reunion. Vic agrees to meet soon and he proceeds towards his house in the countryside. Briar and Bramble are ready to tease him, but Vic doesn't want to ruin his mood. He even allows the bears to watch television as much as they want. The bears get confused, so Vic reveals that he has gotten a big tourist deal. This one is going to pay him really well. Vic believes that money is the most important thing in the world that can grant all his wishes. With a few more deals like this, Vic will be finally able to enjoy a world tour. His daydreaming gets interrupted when the phone starts ringing. Vic excitedly picks it up and asks the dealer if the tourists are ready or not. Unfortunately, the dealer called to cancel the trip, because all the tourists prefer to visit the new theme park called the Wild Land. Vic gets really heartbroken because he just bought a new van for this job. Wild Land is really popular these days and everyone wants to go there. Bramble also wants to visit the park, but Vic is not in the mood. To distract his mind, Vic decides to meet Raymond. He has changed a lot since high school and even dyed his hair. Raymond did this all to gain more subscribers for his vlog channel. Unlike Vic, Raymond is quite social and keeps connections with all of their ex-classmates. However, no one has time to meet each other in person. That's why Raymond is so excited to see Vic. They sit down to have some tea, and Vic asks about the wild land. Raymond says that it can turn humans into animals, but Vic refuses to believe that and starts laughing. Raymond shows him a promotional video and explains that many humans participate in the competition held in wild land. They have to turn into different animals and complete several challenges. Beside the $1 million prize, the top participants also gain lots of fans which help them in becoming successful artists. It's a golden opportunity for Vic to earn a lot of money. He agrees to team up with Raymond and try winning this competition at any cost. On his way back home, he gets a call from the dealer again who wants a driver for a school field trip. Vic refuses the offer because he needs to participate in the wild land competition. He excitedly gets in the van to drive to the town, but Bramble sneaks inside as he really wants to see the wild land. After reaching the destination, Vic gets shocked to see the high-level technology used to build the wild land. All the visitors seem really happy and look forward to transforming into their favorite animals. Vic keeps looking around in confusion and waits for Raymond. Suddenly, a girl named Shirley approaches him to click some pictures as she wants to make a photography album. Suddenly, a train arrives to take all the visitors to the center of the wild land. What they have seen so far was just the entrance. Bramble also climbs on the train and uses a window to get inside the wild land. He catches the delicious aroma of the free food and rushes to get it. The staff assumes that he is just a human transformed into an animal, so they ask him to wear the uniform. Meanwhile, all the other visitors are given fancy uniforms too, and a warm welcome. As soon as they enter the main area, everyone uses their bracelets to turn into animals, while Vic keeps staring in shock. Raymond finally reaches there and shows his transformation. Vic wants to experience it too, but he needs to install the animals into his bracelet. For this purpose, they need to go to the wild market. All the animals have different prices depending upon how rare they are. As Vic is a new member, so he gets the sample package for free. It includes some basic animals like bears and lizards, but Vic chooses to be the lion. Beside the appearance, Vic also gains the characteristics of the animal he transforms into. The players have to participate in the competition as a group of three, so Raymond and Vic start looking for the third player. After a while, everyone gathers near the stage where the founder of Wildland, Sir Tom Parks, makes a dramatic entry. His goal is to spread happiness by letting humans enjoy the freedom of endless forests and wide skies. Today, he has a special surprise. After years of research, he has finally developed a method to transform into human hybrids that have features of more than one animal. This new technology will be given to the contestants of the final round. Tom himself will also participate in the tournament along with his teammate who won the last tournament. The third player will be a lucky person from the audience. Surprisingly, Raymond wins the draw. He forgets about Vic and joins Tom's team as it is more likely to win. Afterward, all participants team up in groups of three 
and only Vic is left behind. He gets upset at Raymond for deceiving his friend just for a tournament. Raymond feels sorry, but he can't lose this opportunity. Instead of leaving the competition, Vic decides to win at any cost and make Raymond regret his behavior. Suddenly, a staff member named Leon approaches Vic and offers to be his teammate. Bramble reaches there too and Vic has no other option than accepting him in the team as well. All the teams gather again and listen to the host. He explains all the rules and tells about the two rounds of the tournament that will be played in the artificially generated terrains. They have prepared every habitat from tropical forests to icebergs and tundra. In the first round, each team has to collect one of the ten super capsules spread around the terrains. The ten successful teams will move to the final round. All participants rush to catch the capsules but Vic is the one struggling the most. Luckily, Leon seems really experienced and he succeeds in getting the capsule. The succeeding teams move to the final round and now they have to catch the flying silver ball. The team with the maximum balls will be the winner, but there's also a golden ball that is worth 10 points. After hearing the rules, all the teams use super capsules to transform into hybrids. Vic and Bramble want to do it too, but Leon has disappeared with the golden capsule. He seems to have no interest in winning the game and keeps following Tom to copy some mysterious data. Vic and Bramble keep playing with all their heart, but they are no match to the powerful hybrid players. Vic finds Leon but he doesn't help and keeps moving in the other direction. Suddenly, he steps on the wrong spot and falls off a cliff. Vic tries to save him but he falls down too. Vic asks Leon to use the super capsule to carry them out, but Leon lies that it's broken. Vic gets really angry and asks Leon why he abandoned his team. Vic had sacrificed so much to participate in this tournament, but things always end up like this for him. He is never going to fulfill his dreams. He feels like his life is cursed. Hearing this, Leon says that his life is also cursed. He came here for his daughter who fell ill and lost her ability to walk. Vic feels really sorry for him and decides to use the prize money to cure Leon's daughter. For that, they need to get out here and play the game. Luckily, Bramble finds them and pulls them out. The clock is ticking really fast, and if they want to win the game, they must catch the gold ball. It heads inside the Thunderland where a single Thunderbolt can disqualify the player. After the long chase, most of the players get disqualified, and only Vic, Raymond and Leon are left behind. Raymond jumps to get the ball, but Leon sacrifices himself to help Vic catch the ball. With the 10 points of the golden ball, Vic wins the competition. They are honored with a special ride in the hot air balloon and witness the whole wild land from the top. Raymond feels ashamed of himself and decides to apologize to his friend. But as he reaches the balloon, he loses his senses and starts attacking everyone. The balloon falls down but luckily, everyone survives due to special safety measures. Vic starts looking for Leon, but he is nowhere to be found. During the fall, Leon lost his phone in which he copied the mysterious data. He eventually finds it, but Tom sends his men to arrest Leon. Vic watches everything in confusion and requests Tom to leave him. Tom shows Leon's phone and reveals that he is trying to steal all the data of the wild land. Tom knows him already and calls Leon a dirty thief who always tries to snatch others' hard-earned success. All of the emotional stories he told were just lies. Vic gets really angry and says that he considered Leon a friend in need, but he is the biggest liar Vic has ever met. Tom asks Vic to forget what happened and enjoy his victory. However, Vic doesn't feel happy at all even after getting the money which he considered the most valuable thing in the world. He sits down in the corner and stares at the locket Leon left behind. It has a video of his supposed daughter that makes Vic suspicious about the whole truth. Briar finally reaches the wild land and runs after Bramble. While searching for his brother, Briar encounters two hybrid players who attack him like wild animals. Suddenly a staff team freezes the hybrids and Briar and take them away in giant vans. Shirley witnesses the whole incident and rushes to tell everything to Bramble and Vic. She tried to contact the staff but they kept ignoring this matter. Shirley notices the Leon's locket and recognizes the pattern on it. It's the same as she saw on the staff's uniform that kidnapped their friends. Suddenly the locket beeps and reveals a whole map. Vic and his friends follow the map but they can't find the place drawn on the map. Suddenly, another hybrid player appears from behind and attacks them like a bloodthirsty monster. Vic and others run for their lives and slip down from a cliff. They coincidentally land in the place they were looking for. It's a small house that seems to be abandoned for years. After climbing the stairs, they found a well-decorated room with lots of drawings. Vic notices a cute sketchbook and opens it immediately. It belongs to Leon's daughter. He wasn't lying. 
The girl had wrote down all the quality time she spent with her dad, but she was worried for him because Leon used to be tired and sad. He must be struggling to find a cure for his daughter. Her biggest wish was to grow wings and fly like a bird. Leon promised to grant her wish and worked hard day and night. He eventually found a way to give her wings, but the little girl still didn't survive and left this world. Vic feels really ashamed of himself for insulting Leon. Vic didn't know that Leon was suffering so much and won the competition to help Vic fulfill his dreams. Shirley asks Vic to be strong and plan what to do next. Leon gave this locket to Vic because he trusted him. It's time for Vic to pay back the favor. Bramble finds some magazines and photos which reveal that Tom and Leon built the Wildland together. There's also some research work of Leon that concluded that hybrid transformation is permanent and causes lots of side effects. Leon was trying to stop Tom from launching Super Transform and that's why he got arrested. Vic has to rescue his friend but he needs his trusty van. They drive to the Wildland headquarters and sneak inside through the air vent. Shirley and Bramble proceed to look for their friends while Vic has to search for Leon. He is kept in the office where Tom offers him some coffee. Leon doesn't seem happy at all and asks Tom why he's using the forbidden hybrid technology. Tom doesn't agree and shows the latest reports that declares the super transformation stable. Leon mentions Raymond, but Tom says that he was only upset at losing the tournament. Little does Leon know, Tom is keeping all the unstable hybrids in a special cell. They are put into deep sleep to avoid any unfavorable consequences. Shirley and Bramble find the cell and deactivate Briar's pod to help him get out. Suddenly, the warning alarm starts beeping, and all the hybrids wake up from their slumber. Luckily, Shirley and the bears escape through the air vent and start looking for Leon and Vic. The warning message is also displayed on Tom's computer, and Leon sees it too. He starts arguing with Tom and begs him to shut down this system as soon as possible. When Tom doesn't agree, Leon punches him and steals his gear. It will allow Leon to shut down the control room. Tom gets angry and attacks with a gun, but Leon breaks out of the window and slides down on the giant tree. Unfortunately, the gear slips out of his hand and Tom takes it back. He decides to kill Leon to get rid of future interruption, but Vic gets in the way at the right time. They unite with their other friends and start planning their next strategy. Tom also calls his strongest workers and attacks Vic and his friends. Due to strong teamwork, Vic's team succeeds in defeating all of their enemies except Tom. Vic suddenly remembers about other animal options on his bracelet and turns into a lizard. Afterward, he uses his long tongue to steal Tom's gear. He must deactivate the system as soon as possible because the super hybrids are getting stronger and greater in number. If they escape into the city, the whole world will be destroyed soon. Vic gives his van keys to Bramble and asks him to drive everyone to a safe place while Vic and Leon head to the control center. Leon says thanks to Vic and reveals that he built this technology to give wings to her daughter, but she was really kind and wanted to share this gift with everyone. The wild land was her biggest wish, but Tom's greed ruined everything. They reach the control room and use the gear to access the full user clearance. Leon asks the AI to shut down the super transformation matrix, but she refuses to do that. When Lowen created her, he asked the AI to make everyone happy. Therefore, she wants to keep the super transformation to make people happy. The AI believes that the ordinary lives of humans are miserable, but super transformations give them permanent freedom. Leon tries to shut down the AI, but she doesn't let that happen. That's why we should be afraid of artificial intelligence. She has also super transformed Tom and uses him to protect herself. Vic volunteers to stop Tom and buy some time for Leon so he can fix the AI. He finally reprograms everything, but before he can press the activation button, the AI traps him inside a virtual reality. Leon finds himself with his beloved daughter and forgets about the real world. Meanwhile, Vic is captured by Tom who is totally under the control of the AI. Vic suddenly remembers about the locket and turns on the video on it. The sound reaches Leon and he gets back to his senses. He wants to keep holding his daughter but he has to move on and continue his life. After waking up, Leon remembers that the control system is built over a swimming pool. He takes Vic's help and smashes the glass walls. The water gets in the control room and destroys everything. Finally, the transformation matrix is shut down and everyone returns to their normal self. Vic doesn't get the prize money but he has become famous and now everyone is calling him a hero. After settling down all the mess, Vic goes back to working on his job. Seeing people enjoying the tour, he feels really happy. Vic has finally realized that money can't buy happiness. 